Ruck Road's about to start. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Whoa! That's not how it was when I was testing. You know why? I bet you it has something to do with my life. What's up, everybody? Pull out the green screen. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm being like, I, I feel like Scotty's beaming me up right now, but there's like some complications. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fix that here in a hot second. Uh, at least I'll attempt to. What's up, everybody? Long time no see, sort of. Some of you have been uh, hanging out, waiting for this to start. Uh, some of you were here earlier. Uh, it looks gooder now. I didn't change anything, but it, no, I guess it doesn't. Let me see here. Uh, gotta go this way, I think. I don't know. It's a little grainy. I guess we'll just have to deal with it. It's like uh, intermittent snow or something. I, so I think what happened was when I tested everything, I had a like a really bright screen. I don't know if that'll. Ugh, that's even worse. Here. here we go. I think that's what happened, and I calibrate it now. Now I'm on the actual screen that matters, which is the live stream, which is dark. So I'll have to remember that for next time. Hey, thanks for the sound and visual confirmation. But what's up, everybody? Uh, basically, this is January Game Break 2021. This is the first Game Break of the year. Sadly, I was sick for the majority of the month, so there isn't a ton of stuff to cover or talk about. But I didn't want to, like, forget about it or, like, not do something. So, you know, welcome back anyways, and thanks for tuning in and joining. I know some of you guys have been here for a lot of these. Some of you are first-timers. Basically, the Game Breaks are a chance for us to just kind of hang out and chat these were a lot more uh, monumental or beneficial to you guys when we weren't doing live streams. This was a way for you guys to kind of interact with us or just see what's going on behind the scenes. Because before we were doing the live streams, they were uploads. And I would like talk about a bunch of stuff and always catch up on stuff. But, uh, you know, with the live streams happening every day now, they're just not as, I guess, as cool. Maybe. I don't know. You guys seem to still enjoy them a wee bit or we would go ahead and squash them. But. Uh, we've got some Patreon supporters and whatnot, too, that uh, definitely earn shout-outs. So we've got to make sure that we do these every month. Now, uh, to start things off, we always like to welcome you, kind of say hi. We would normally, if this was a regular stream, we would say hi to everybody that's here. I do want to recognize the early notification squad, which was Monsta, Brian, and Adam D. Thank you guys for being early. And uh, we will talk to the rest of you guys once we get all the meat and potatoes out of the way, as I like to say. Basically, I want to make sure that we get all the stuff covered that we're going to talk about, and then we'll hang out. And then if there's questions or whatever, we'll, we'll tell other stories. But, um, you know, we always start off with stats. This month was this month was good, and it was bad. It was a really weird twist. Now, unfortunately, you guys don't get to see it all because it's like a crazy graphic and, and whatnot. But essentially, you get to see the, the basics. Uh, you know, views and watch time are both up significantly. Um, ironically, uh, due to me missing those six days, those six streams, that was roughly 24 hours or so of time that would normally be uploaded. That's a lot. 24 hours? I mean, that's just kind of a guesstimate because it was six streams, roughly four hours each. Um, that's a lot of time, though, and it actually killed our revenue. So although these stats look wonderful, the revenue is terrible. It took a huge hit, um, you know, like like a 30% hit, like that's huge. Uh, so hopefully that'll kind of catch back up and everything will be GUD and don't worry, I'm not complaining or anything, I, I'm just stating facts here. Um, that This is uh, something that, you know, definitely happens. It is that time of year too where uh, the CPM are basically our, our, our hourly or minimum wage, however you want to call it. Um, it, it starts to decline a little bit too. The advertising starts to dissipate. Uh, basically, as soon as Super Bowl is over, it and then it gets a little spike at Valentine's Day and then at Easter and you know. And then, but but most of the advertising money and revenues go out in like uh, November, December, January. Th those are the highest, best, most efficient months. So uh, I peaked out. I, I actually had my best month ever for December, like ever. So like, thank you guys. Um, it, it was really cool to see that. And, and, and unfortunately now, now looking at it, it's kind of like, <laughs> kind of seeing the decline from that 30%, but I know we'll get there again, you know, hard work pays off. And that's something I'm trying to teach Reese and, and others out there too, that like the YouTube life is glorious from the outside, right? Like, oh my God, Brian gets to play video games and make money on it. 
but like if you guys realized how much time goes into some of the the edits and and the the preparations to some of these things and like um you know there's a lot and, and of course i've got guide writers and stuff that uh you know haven't always been properly compensated so we're working towards fixing that or have been fixing that so um you know it's all in the greater good and it like hard work will pay but like i said uh last year i think i missed five days my wife was trying to explain this to reese she was like she was like all right listen uh, the weekends are for people to relax and hang out right and reese was like yep and she was like all right so by our guesstimate dad took six days off last year and went, okay and she goes okay so there's 52 weeks in a year 52 times two, because that would be two days for the weekend. That'd be 104 days off that most people get. And she goes, dad took six. <laughs> and Reese's jaw, like, <gasps> like, you know what I mean? So like, obviously that was my choice. You know, I've been streaming six days a week. I've been uploading on those off days too. So I mean, technically I really worked every day. <laughs> but I mean, as far as videos or streams that I missed, that were six days that, that didn't get videos last year in 2020. That's crazy. Um, you know, this year I've already missed six days due to my sickness. So, um, it's crazy how that all works. Six days from sickness. But anyways, um, uh, all in all, still a very productive, positive month. We saw a lot of stuff happening. We got our Spyro series, uh, roughly, it's roughly about halfway out there actually, uh, which is pretty sweet. And, um, you know, ultimately, we hope to finish that sooner than later as far as the production goes. We will continue to leak videos out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on those Spyros. But, I mean, like, uh, they're good. They're, they're fun. Uh, they're not getting very many views. So the priority, like, the pressure is, like, not as intense as it once was. But um, all in all, it was, uh, you know, pretty pretty worthwhile doing. I, I, think, I think we're having a lot of fun doing it. So, um, all right. So... Like I said, there's not a whole lot to talk about this month. Uh, I do want to kind of touch base on why that is, too. Josh, welcome back to level one. That's weird. Why is it saying level one when you're you're already... I guess that's the level of the tier, right? That makes more sense. So, welcome back, Josh. I, I, maybe, I don't know why it's popping up. Maybe you took a month off or something. But regardless, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Um... But yeah, so sick. What happened? Why was I sick? Did I have COVID? No. A lot of people were totally under the impression that I had COVID. I get, you know, Facebook messages, Twitter messages, uh, you know, random stuff. A lot of people thought like, like, I mean, I, I wasn't doing well, but I didn't have COVID. Uh, essentially, I have like this tendency to get sinus infections. We don't really know why. We're starting to kind of research and do more on that to hopefully prevent it from happening in the future. Uh, but, uh, I see a few sli sliding in right now. What's up, Todd? What's up, Grub? What's up, uh, cows? What's up, guys? Uh, I, I will address you guys in, in a more personalized way here soon. Uh, I just want to make sure we get through all the stuff. For those who don't want to hang out, they just want to know what's going on, I want to get that stuff done first. Uh, but, so I had a sinus infection, and usually sinus infections can be cleared up with, you know, your standard antibiotics or whatever. So I called the doc, and they are like, do you want to come in, or do you want to, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to come in. And they were like, they asked me a gajillion questions and, and I passed, right? Like as far as, do you have COVID? I passed. And, and so um, at that point she said, look, what we want to do is we want to get you some antibiotics, but we want to play it safe. So we want you to take a COVID test. And I said, fair enough. I'd, I'd like to know if I have it anyway. So let's go ahead and make it happen. So I went and took the COVID test, took less than 24 hours to get my results back, which I thought was pretty efficient considering it was a swab test, no blood, no, no major urgency or anything. So like, I felt like they were pretty responsive with that and, and, uh, it was a negative. And, and so they issued my prescription. I was able to start taking my stuff and, um, I had seven days. I had to take two pills a day for seven days and, or was it three pills? Yeah. The first batch was three pills a day for seven days. And um, I got to day seven. It was just like telling the wife, pff, pff, nothing's changed. I still feel as crappy. And what was happening is I have all this pressure way up in my sinus cavities, right? Like up inside and, and, and it's swelling up. And what it was doing was putting pressure onto my, the roots of my teeth, really only on this side, like this side, my side, like this side was clogged with like this side was worser. And, um, so 
it was it was taking its pick like it would depending on what time of day or how i was moving sometimes it would be like the very far back to sometimes it'd be the next one up sometimes it'd be the one in front of that sometimes i mean so there was three or four teeth that were like extremely problematic there was times too where i could feel my heartbeat in my tooth do you know how uncomfortable that is like not only is it like like physically uncomfortable but like when you're mentally like like it's not okay so um i basically just call the doctor and was like look i'm not getting any better i don't know what's next but and they go okay we got you we got you we got we got some higher powered stuff and she said basically <laughs> this is how she explained it to me i always get these really weird explanations from my doctors they go listen the bacteria it's smart it's way smarter than our antibiotics so what we got to do is we got to give you an antibiotic with a mask i was like okay i'll buy it and she goes so what we're gonna give you i think it i think it was called aug augmentin i think that was the name of it and so what it basically was is is it like it like gives you it puts other stuff in it I, I don't even know if it's helpful or whatever but basically it it would like trick the bacteria into like being like oh it's no big deal don't worry about it it's not antibiotics we're good we don't need to fight up against that but then it would be like ha ha fooled you antibiotics and that's how she explained it to me <laughs> like i was like are you serious right now she's like yeah no that's basically basic way to put it like there's a mask on it it's and, and it gets there and it pops the mask and it reveals its true self and then at that point it should be able to you know, so I'm like thinking, what is going on? This sounds like some Star Wars or some crazy fictional stuff. And so I took it and, and I ended up getting um, roughly, I think it was another seven days. No, it was 10 days. I got 10 days. I don't remember. It was seven or 10 days. One of them was one, one of the other. It was two pills a day, though. And there are these giant horse pills. And, um, and so day like six or seven, it was like. I only had a couple days left and I, I looked at the wife and I was just like, just in major pain. Cause, cause I would like sit there like this in my chair and I wouldn't move because if I moved, the fluid would move and it would shift around in my teeth. And then one of my teeth would decide to get Randy. <laughs> it would get a little bit on the uh, aggressive side. Um, and so anyways, um, I, was like starting to really worry like i was really like i knew i didn't have covid but like i was start i was like just telling the wife like i just don't think this is gonna fix it and i am like i'm terrified of needles doctors blood specifically um i know this is kind of crazy but like just full disclosure like i'm actually seeing a therapist to talk about it because it's like that bad like I'm like refusing to go to the doctor because I don't want a needle and they want to take needles and poke me and they want to give me shots and all this stuff. And I don't want to go like I, I, I really have a bad back and I hurt my back so bad. Like, like two years ago, three years ago, like I did something terrible and I hadn't been in that much pain since my car accident when I was 18 and I was at the doctor and she's like, Oh yeah, you're bad off. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, all right, so I got you. We're going to get you a cortisone shot. I was like, mm -mm. she's like, you're in a lot of pain. This is going to help you. And I was like, mm -mm. she's like, well, why did you come here today then? I was like, I don't know. I was hoping you were going to tell me like I needed to stretch or do something or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, to be honest with you, my wife made me make the appointment because I've been bitching for three weeks about my back. And and that's why I'm here. So, you know, I'm terrified of needles, you guys. Like, I really am. And, and, and we've actually been like... You know, it, it's weird how it takes somebody to really interrogate you for you to even remember certain things. Like, I don't feel like I've ever blocked anything off. I've never been blacked out drunk or anything like that. Like, my memory is pretty good. And so, well, old man Brian Brain does strike from time to time. But but anyways, like, like we started finding out, like, there were times where I actually had a couple of experiences where, like, you know, veins were missed and blood spilled onto me and like and these are all reasons that would cause this traumatic experience for me and so anyways like uh, doctors i didn't want to go i was really worried and the next day you guys i woke up and for the first time in like two and a half three weeks i had zero tooth pain when i opened my eyes like 
when I open my eyes, I would immediately, I would, I would lose sleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night because of tooth pain. Cause I'd roll over, you know, and the fluid would shift and then things would hurt. And so, um, I woke up after that. I, I legit was like, like super worried. And I woke up and I was like, I don't have any tooth pain. I don't have any tooth pain. And I sat up and I was like, I don't have any tooth pain. I was like, sweetie, I don't have any tooth pain. And she was like, that's awesome. And cause her office is across the house now. And, and and so, like ten seconds later, whoa, whoa, whoa! I, like, ah, I got tooth pain, and so it wasn't immediate, but it started to subside. And and after like another two or three days of the medicine, it totally disappeared. Whoa! I just saw a new subscriber come in. What's up, Anne Marie? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy our content. I don't know if I missed some too. I likely did, but um, so uh, you know. Listen, you guys, uh, sinus infections, if you're wondering, I don't recommend them. <laughs> I recommend you stay away from them. Uh, you know, and, and I, uh, for what it's worth, I probably should have listened to a few of you. I won't mention any names. I'm sure I'll get some comments here in a second. But, you know, some, some preventative type stuff could be applied um, and, and some flushing stuff could be have been added i think and i and i i don't know i opted not to yeah I, those neti pots you know I, 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 those used to be like the laughing stock of like infomercials back in my day so like when i when i think about using one i i that like that's like i don't know i just i have a hard time doing it but uh you know i i think it's something that i probably will need to do on a regular basis based on my sinus stuff that i mean even now i mean i, I I'm still sinusy, like, and I mean, they got me on Sudafed like 24/7 now. I'm not trying to be on Sudafed or anything. I mean, they they got these, they got these guys too. Ah, I'm not trying to. And this stuff, like, listen, no disrespect to anybody. I don't. It doesn't matter who. If you fit this category, it's not about you. But like, when I was younger, I used to go and visit my great grandma who was in a retirement home. And there was like this smell, right? This, again, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody or anything when I say this, so please don't take it. It's not about you if you're watching because it ain't, you weren't there. I can, I know it. But there was like, it's like an old lady smell, right? An old lady smell. And it's like, it's it's not bad. It's like foo-foo and like different lotions and perfumes and stuff, right? Like it's not, but like, that's what that smells like to me. And I have to direct inject it. <laughs> so like the next like four hours, that's all I smell. <laughs> like I'm not trying like, and, and, and that stuff, there's something in it too that it takes me for a ride that I may have been a little more interested in in my younger years, but I am not, I don't like floating and like, it's weird, right? Like I don't, and it's probably just like the, the sinus stuff dropping and whatever, but like, I do feel like I'm getting like side effects from it. So, um, so I'm still not in the clear or fixed, if you will, but I'm not sick anymore. I'm functioning as a human, as I've been telling everybody, and it feels great, um, you know, but I'm still nasally and gross and, and um, hopefully that'll subside. Like I, I I'll, my wife and I have been trying to figure this out, like based on previous years um, and how things all work out and everything. And essentially like when it gets to like late December, early January, uh, those are our coldest months, coldest days in, in Oregon, usually. Um, and, and so, um, whenever those hit, like I get one, I, I don't know if you guys remember, I went to Hawaii two years ago. I was having major ear and nose things. Like my ears were really, I have tinnitus. So like my ears and, and, you know, like nose are not great. Right. My sinuses and my ears are listen here. And, and I might know why too. Like I, I might, I, since I was 13 years old, I've had giant subwoofers. I had, I had a car stereo system three years before I was eligible to drive. I just knew people that had equipment. I had money from working. I had a job when I was 13. Um, I was mowing yards at 13 and at 14, I actually got a real job working at a miniature golf course. Um, so I always had money and I would buy this stuff. And I, I mean, I had, I legit had a battery charger like that you'd plug into the wall and hook onto your car. And I had that going into a car stereo player 
and that car stereo player had speakers and and stuff. So I've had subwoofers forever, and and obviously since I've been able to drive, I've always had like ten inch or twelve inch subwoofers in my trunk, and my car's always bumped. Like I don't have crappy crap. Like I have pretty good loud stuff, and I I'm I, I'm pretty sure that a combination of that exposure all the time and then the inner ear earbuds, I know those have. I think those destroyed my. I don't remember the terminology, but the you know the is it the cochlea or what whatever that the 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 stuff around the but like inside my eardrums, I think they've gotten a little too much dancing from going to concerts and bumping in my car. But um, ultimately, you know, um, I seem to have this residual, whether it's from that or not. Like um, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find it out. Uh, we bought an air purifier, which you guys may be able to hear in the background right now. Maybe not. Um, we're actually going to look into buying a second one. This this corner right here behind my desks, there is like a, the home, what you call it? Uh, it's like a recirc vent. But it, it I, I don't know. It, so like there's always stuff. It's supposed to be sucking in and going through and dropping into the filtration system and then pushing out. But if you see the schematics of how it's built, like there's no way for it to do that. It all kind of runs in the same vents. So I feel like it's recirculating stuff that's not being filtered. I'm not a professional. I don't know. I'm not small enough to fit into the vents either. So I can't verify that for sure. But if you follow it and you look it, because you can see there's, we've got storage on the backside of this wall here. So you can go in there and you can see how it comes through the back side of the wall and how it goes down. And then you can go in the garage and see it come out of the garage and go into the, you know. So anyways, I, I, we're going to try to put one back there. And then hopefully that'll keep most of the dirt and dust from behind. Because there's a lot of it just floats around. I have a fan back there because it gets so hot. So the fan blows all this dust and dirt that accumulates back there by that vent. And it blows it out to me. And that likely could be it. I mean, I spend 70% of my life either sitting in this chair or sitting in that chair or laying in the bed right there. Like, uh, I'm not very much fun. You guys, <laughs> I don't get out very much. That's what I do. Um, you know, all of my money and all my stuff goes straight into this environment, whether it be new TVs, new recliners, new consoles, new fans, new lights, like everything is right here. This is like where I live. Like I, you know, I think about it all the time. Like I've almost bought like one of those like tough shed type things. Where like you can go to like Home Depot or whatever, and they've got like the full building, right? I mean, I could legit run some lines and and stuff, and I could have like this really cool room out there. But then I think, you know what? Everything's in one place right now. Like I can be working, and I can we we eat dinner up here often too. So like we have TV trays and stuff. So like I can I can eat dinner and be at my office. I can watch movies. I can watch Blazer again. I can do whatever I want. Whatever I want, it's all right here. I don't have to move anything. And I love that. And and if I had like an office or a room somewhere else, like at some point we will relocate. We won't be here forever. In fact, you know, in the next 18 months or less, there's great possibility that we will be in a different environment by then. Um, you know, how it all works out, I don't know. Where we'll be, I don't exactly know either. And it's possible we still may be here, but there's about a 70% chance that in the next 18 months or less that we will be, you know, at least toying with the notion of somewhere else. Um, Mother-in-law wants to sell the house at some point. Uh, now's a good time to, to buy. It's not necessarily a good time to sell. It will sell, but it's not necessarily like a, a seller's market, if you will. At least that's my understanding. So I don't know. It'll all just kind of depend on various things. There, my grandparents' house that we've always wanted is still unattended or un... I mean, it, it, it's being utilized in some form right now, but, you know, we, we would definitely still like a shot at that. It's all about that that dollar dollar bill, though, right? That dollar dollar bill. Um, so anyways, um, yes. Uh, you know, hey, I don't have a visual for this, but I do want to just talk about this real quick. Um, I, I guess I could have put up the logo. <laughs> Whoa, Thumby's going like low, low flying Thumby right behind me. <laughs> um, Apex Season 7 is officially done. Well, it will be the next time we stream it. Uh, Tuesday is our Apex Day. Uh, new season starts. 
and there's supposed to be a pretty big event happening with one of the maps so we're likely to get a new version of one of the existing maps and um you know ultimately um it should be good uh battle pass is gonna reset uh as per the last few seasons i'm not intending to go like hard on the game and like be like crazy playing every single day but um you know depending on how the map plays out depending on the new character plays out depending on a various things it could become a, a, a largely played game uh, now that being said thursday um, has a slot that has yet to been be filled um there's a possibility it might be phasmophobia again but uh we will be short a member for that so i don't know if we're going to be able to or if we'll want to go that route again um, I know you guys, and you guys are like me, the, the, for those of you who do follow on HTG TV, uh, you guys are a lot like me in the sense that, like, um, you really like Resident Evil. <laughs> um, one of the Resident Evils that I have not played yet, I mean, I never played one, which hasn't really had a true remaster. It got redid, but it was, it got redid for the PS3. Ah, it's not something I really want to get into. The controls and stuff on that game are pretty primitive as well. I know that they did do a little bit of revamping, but, like, I'm not a fan of the stopping and shooting stuff, which kind of leads into what I'm saying here, too, so I don't know. But Resident Evil 4 is something that I haven't streamed at all over there, and uh, that's definitely a possibility. I've got a couple of other games that I've talked about in the past where, like... Um, you know, I've got like the paranormal activity. I've, I've got other scary, like horror based games that would meet that HTG TV kind of requirement or stigma that we like to play the games over there. Uh, you know, those are games that I wouldn't bring to HTG. I, I mean, I totally could, I, I think, but I think that there is a, uh, a, a reason that we have the other channel and I like to try and keep them separate, which is why you don't see a lot of like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that, too. I mean, part of it is because that game doesn't really resonate that well with me. And it's mainly because of that stuff that happened, right? Like, I think if that never would have happened, like if I would have, I mean, think about it. That that video that we got in trouble for re relating to Grand Theft Auto, if we would have never gotten in trouble, we would have kept uploading that type of content and it would have taken off. I mean, we could have 500,000 viewers or subscribers by now if it would have, because we had like 65,000 views in like 12 hours on that video. That's like never happened since. So, you know, uh, definitely our best, most viewed, crazy, intense video at that point. Uh, you know, we definitely have videos with a million plus views on them now, but different, right? Like the vir virility um, of it was insane. Uh, so anyways, uh, you guys are talking, go Chiefs, go Bucks. Is there Super Bowl talk happening? Uh, I... Uh, I don't even is that is that who's in it? Chiefs in the box? I was just gonna say I don't even know who's in it. Um I don't watch any of that stuff. I don't watch any of it. Part of it too, Kirsten, is like 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 I've said a lot, like that game is really good at being open and covering like everything, but it also lacks like the detail that you get and see from a lot of those types of things. So like like a shooter has like shooter mechanics, right, that are honed in and so in a shooter, you might find that you hop in a vehicle as part of the story, and the vehicle is not very good, right? Because it's a shooter. Uh, but you get in, like, a race simulator and, you know, something like a game like The Driver, which had both. Uh, the driving mechanics were on point, right? But the shooting mechanics were a little bit off. So, like, I feel like Grand Theft Auto kind of suffers in that aspect of, like, you know, the mechanics are all good, but there's not one category that it really fits into that it excels at. So, the, so for me, like, I don't know. That that's kind of where I'm at. Like, like I know a lot of you guys like it, and I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't like it or it's a bad game at all. I, I'm just stating why I feel that it doesn't necessarily resonate so much with me, you know. And and plus, I'm, you know, me. I'm like a. I don't know. My attention span for stuff is minimal at best minimal and and that's you know that's a brian flaw that's not a necessarily a game flaw or an industry flaw or anything like that that's that's a me thing you know like uh i won't mention any names 
but somebody recently came to me with a game and the game was a game that I <laughs> my response when they showed me it was gross like I was just kidding playing around but that that's what I said um and, and so after talking some more um I realized that like my opinion that I was having kind of sounded and felt like I was saying, boo, don't play that game. That's bad. If you, if you play it, you're bad. Like, and I felt bad about it. Right. Like, and I was like, Hey, like, that's not, I just don't enjoy that franchise or whatever. Right. And, and, and like, maybe you will, maybe you'll love it. Maybe it'll be the best thing that's ever happened to you. I, I don't know. And I mean, at that point, the game had already been opened and installed. So it was like only one way to find out. Right. And, and so like <laughs> I got a message earlier, you were right. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, I wasn't right. I just, I, I, you know, like my preferences maybe line up with your preferences a little more than you thought, right? Like, so, uh, so sometimes, you know, and, and like there's other people out there too, like uh, to specifically name names, you know, Occupied is a huge fan of God of War. That guy can tell you everything. And, and, and I like, I super appreciate his knowledge and love for that game I, I really do like it's uncanny how much he knows and 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 whatnot but that game is not for me that, that game is just not a game that i enjoyed and i don't know why i really don't like i've thought about going back to it to try to play it again to see if maybe i could platinum it because there's still a lot for me to do to platinum it but you guys know me i like to chase them plats um so, you know, uh, it's to each their own, right? Like, some people really, really... <laughs> he was right, Demon Souls is too hard for two. <laughs> That's not what I was saying, though. Like, uh, you know, ultimately, I, I was simply stating my opinion. Like, uh, you know, hey, uh, gross. Uh, play it if you want, though. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, that's kind of how it came out. So, uh, I could see how the uh, you know and i know how it is too like when 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 you have strong feelings about something and, and like you're like you, you like want it to be true anyways and you're debating it with somebody you know it's like not interested like i was like you don't want to be like you know whirp, 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 i had to i don't like it you were right like that's the worst part of that whole scenario right <laughs> uh chacho i see a couple people sliding in too michael what is up chacho's here too uh let's see here anybody else sign in so um i desperately wanted to like it yeah well you know and i mean you know my advice on that would be to stick with it because you know you might find that it might work out so um you know with that whole momentum of um me being resistful um I do have a little bit of a confession to make. Um, so after uh, like a couple, what, three months? God, I wish my camera would figure it out. Like this right now with the, the, the pixely grossness behind me, this is exactly why I want this camera to work more than anything, you guys. Like... I mean, besides the fact that I paid like $500 for this camera and I've like used it like three times, like the quality of the image right now, that camera is not a bad camera, but when you throw a filter like green screen, a chroma key on it, the camera, it does tend to struggle a little bit, especially based on my lighting and my surroundings. So this isn't an everybody problem. It's likely specifically a me problem which a lot of them are but this one here is like you know when i move the light reflects off my face differently and so the camera tries to adjust its you know aperture and whatever and um, as a result it changes a lot and i'm hoping that i can get that dialed in i was going to try to do it the other day when we were doing the um the tech support the rebuilding of Streamlabs, but i never got to it mainly because we ran into some hurdles like the sound stuff was bogus and for the record mom isn't here to tell me i'm lying or to verify i'm not but you know all it took was a restart and that whole concept like that, that remember we were missing an item i kept saying like there should be another option here and he was like 
it probably should be, but we're not seeing it. So it's something with your, you know, like, and, and, and he was sending me screenshots like, look, here's mine. And mine has this extra option. I restarted the computer and it was there. I, all I did was do the same, restarted it, opened up the options and the thing was there. So, um, you know, sometimes technology is just bogus, but back to my confession. I, f I bought something that I wasn't going to buy and I'm still not thrilled about how it all happened, but it works and I got it. So, um, look what I got. This Miles Morales, if you can't see, cause my lighting is so amazing. Um, there was a lot of discussion too about upgrading to the PS five Spider-Man and what was needed, where you could do it, if you even could do it. Um, and then turns out, <laughs> I bought the stupid one. I bought the super expensive. I didn't want to buy the game. And somehow I bought the super expensive one. <laughs> you guys have no idea how frustrating. So remember just a minute ago, I was talking about the worst part about having a debate about a game and then finding out you were wrong is having to admit, right? Remember I was saying momentum was, look, look, look who bought the game, who wasn't going to buy the game, right? So uh, full story on this. I didn't go buy the game at like a GameStop or anything like that. I didn't buy it off a seller wall. When I procured Reese's PS5, it was in a bundle. That was the only way you couldn't buy just the console. Uh, so I had to buy the bundle or not, you know, continue, continue to wait. Right. So I bought the bundle. It had a $10 PS now coupon in there too. Like, like $10. That's a, that's a month, I guess. But like, that's such a weird thing. However, so it did work out. Well, you tell me, Kirsten, did it arrive? <laughs> uh, the, the, the bundle, this was part of the bundle. So spoiler alert, it arrived. Um, has Reese taking ownership of it yet? That's a big negative. That's a big negative. That's a whole nother story. That might be another another live stream altogether. <laughs> um, but no, uh, this actually has the codes. Um, and, and so I have uh, the Spider-Man remastered. And I also have... Um, the downloadable content for Miles Morales. So uh, the Ultimate Edition, I guess, comes with everything. I mean, it's it's ironic to me that there is DLC for what is basically DLC, <laughs> right? I mean, it, it, people have been arguing with me for months. I've kind of stopped like fighting that fight because ultimately. It is a standalone game. It has its own disc. But I mean, it's like a really short adventure. And it's probably closer to being DLC package than it is a full game package. Especially at the price point they're asking for it. So, um, hey Daniel, what's up? I see you're being super aggressive with your typing and emojis. Could we slow that down, please? Otherwise, you will likely be timed out. And if you've noticed, you're already being slowed down and timed out because of what's happening here. So, uh, please and thank you. Slow down. Be, ch be chill. Be cool. Um, so, anyways, uh, nobody cares about the bugs. Michael is not having any of that talk, huh? Um, so, anyways, uh, yes. So, Miles Morales will be happening soon. Um, it'll likely be a Miles Monday, right? We thought about web slinging Wednesdays too. So that might take over. I mean, it, we're still a week or two out from that actually happening. Uh, I do want to finish up. I got to finish up Watch Dogs. Um, I got to finish up Human Fall Flat, which will be tomorrow. And and so the goal for that is, is that, um, like I said, we're going to try to, while the premiere page is up, Reese and I are going to get in a game and Reese is going to cheese as many levels as he can. Um, and then hopefully when we start, we will likely be on the, you know, close to the level, if not on the level that we left off with. Now for that, Reese and I have had an agreement that I'm not going to be anywhere near those fuses. 
So, for those of you who weren't here last week, uh, at the very end of our Human Fall Flat stream, there was a task on screen that required the character to like like wind up a, a big crank and that crank charged up a battery and we had two batteries that needed charging i walked up to it and i struggled reese walked up to it and struggled i all of the sudden got the hang of it and i said get off reese let me do it uh, i did it and it only took me like what a minute maybe two minutes to get both of those maybe it was longer it didn't seem like it though and as I was doing it, I could literally feel my body just totally have this heat wave, like a hot flash, which I'm old. I get stuff like that from time to time, indigestion or maybe hunger or whatever, too. Uh, low blood sugar sometimes. And um, ultimately, I just brushed it off like I often do. Gas bubbles or whatever pass, and and I'm fine, right? So um, I did what I could to ignore it. And then as I started realizing it was getting worse, so Reese needed to go. So I was like, all right, we're, we're, let's wrap it up. I was trying to finish that level, but I was like, all right, let's just wrap it up. And then I looked down and Kirsten had messaged something about OMG motion sickness. And as soon as I read that, it clicked. And I was like, wow, that's what's happening. I just made myself motion sick from cranking this big wheel here. So uh, I'm going to stay away from that wheel. Yeah, go, feel free. Go watch it. I, I I haven't watched it to see my reaction, and, and hopefully it's not as obvious as it. I mean, if if, I mean, listen, guys. I the rest of that night, that entire Monday night, I laid in bed or in this recliner. I tried to move back and forth. I tried to get up multiple times, to like go about my day. I was sick the rest of the day. I felt like I was on a rocking boat. I felt like I felt like that video I sent you, Kirsten. <laughs> Uh, there's this filter on these soccer players and these refs, and they it's like this wavy. So like this 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 guy like walks up and he's like, mm -hmm. it just looks so stupid. And they get right in each other's face, and they're like, they really they're just like normal like. Da -da 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 -da. But this filter on the video just makes it so random. All right, and and Daniel, like you're really calling attention to yourself right now, and not in the good way. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Uh, we, we've tried, we've tried, we've been trying, uh, at, at some point here soon, you're probably going to get tossed brother. And I don't think anybody wants that. So like settle down on the typage and the emojis and, and just the, uh, what we like to kind of call, look at me. Like, it's one thing to interact and talk with people. That's not what's happening right now with you. <laughs> so let, let's interact and talk. Let's hang out. Uh, so that was one of the funniest streams I've ever watched. Could not stop laughing. Are you talking about the Human Fall Flat stream? Reese and I had some fun with that. Uh, you know, last week was a fun week with streams. Um, you know, we made pretty good ground and, uh, well, we finished up some Apex and just had fun there. Got a couple of wins. Um, we had, uh, you know, Prop Hunt, which was a hoot. Uh, Thursday was interesting too, right? Like a behind the scenes kind of a thing, just hanging out. Well, which by the way, I totally forgot. Um, I mean, I guess it's sort of late in the game, but uh, music. I, I don't, I don't know if, it, I don't know if it works or not. I set it up so that it would work. Uh, it, it shows that it's working. Y'all hear music? Oh, it works. All right, well, let me know if it's annoying or gross. I can't hear it because of the scenario. Uh, I can plug in my headphones and check it out, but I'd have to plug in my headphones and check it out, and they're not within reach. So uh, basically, I just the whole point was to have some like background ambience or whatever, but I know that some of it's like... Just like straight crazy dubstep, like... <laughs> The wobbly moving likely didn't help. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm a very firm believer in the fact that I can play that game. I don't think I will get sick playing that game. I think if I focus on that spot, that that could happen again. So I'm going to avoid that. And, and so I tasked Reese today, and I don't know if he did it, with 
speed running basically and getting through uh, I know he played through a bunch he got a handful of trophies that we missed uh, and that'll be something we'll kind of target and kind of not target as we do the speed run we basically just want to get through the whole stupid game and be done with it and then we can take our time and do whatever we want but it takes about six hours roughly is what they estimate to play through the whole game in the DLC and we won't be streaming for six hours so um, you know we're hoping that we can cheese a few levels and shorten that time by an hour or three um, and but also start early so that'll help with that overall time too can't hear me music's kind of loud huh? okay that's really weird I turned it way down and it almost like gradually built up <laughs> Maybe I should just talk louder then! No. Yes, you like it? Barely tricky. I mean, we don't have to have it either, right? Like, uh, it's more of a distraction. A nice addition. You have to concentrate. Oh no! Uh, Alright, so I got one last little thing I want to show you guys, and then we got Patreon shoutouts, and then that's it. Sorry to say. Well, it'll be it'll be it as far as what I have for you guys. Like, you guys have any you want to hang out or whatever. Um, so I got a device. Uh, I've talked about this a lot. I don't think I've ever shown you. Maybe I showed you the other one, but I, I got the official one that I know for a fact will support everything I need. Uh, hello there. What's up, Renato? Nice. Glad we could help out. Um, PS5 actually do not have an optical out so you got to find a device that looks something like this as you can see it's got an hdmi and an optical right i don't know there we go that's probably a little better uh so so you, you, you bring in your hdmi from your ps5 right it comes right out of the back of your console goes right into this guy and then it comes out this guy and instead of just having an hdmi you also have the optical so it just basically takes that signal that would normally be coming from the motherboard of the console and it sends it to this little device, this little, this little plug, this port for the optical or the SPDIF. Uh, and, and so that will allow a tremendous amount of people to have uh, headsets that have the optical cable. So like a lot of the uh, Steel Series, a lot of the Astros, a lot of the Turtle Beaches. If you have purchased a microphone that is roughly over the $150 price point, it's almost guaranteed that you have an optical wire. Now, why do those have those? Well, it's a great question. Um, basically, HDMI can only handle so many layers. Now, I don't know how many, but to simplify the process, they can send the audio separately down this optical line. And so for party chats and things like that, it actually, the console has multiple layers of audio. And you guys have seen me have to change that setting on the PS4 every time we stream to hear other people. Uh, you know, and that's basically sending that signal through the HDMI versus sending it through the optical. It still sends it through the optical too, but it, it prioritizes that HDMI because then the HDMI can then be picked up and you can hear it. But but then it then you don't have control. So so why would you want control or what do you mean by control? Well, when there's the second layer, that audio that's coming through the optical, sorry if my hand gestures are inappropriate, I'm not trying to be. Um, if, if the audio is going through that optical, um, you can then prioritize game and chat volume. Some of your headsets like mine, um, you know, I don't, you can't really see it as well on this one because it's really nice and sleek, but, but there's buttons. You can hear it probably. So, so one of them is game and one of them is chat. So let's say that I'm playing a game like, like Apex, for example, and you're on the ship getting ready to drop and you're dropping and it's super loud, right? I can click my button and basically turn the game sound down and keep them up or turn them up, right? And, and so, uh, unfortunately, without the optical cable, you cannot do that. Now, I have not verified that this device, I have one exactly like this, not made by Astro. And Astro is the company who makes my headset, which is why I officially got this one. Um, but in theory, I should still be able to toggle and, and do that with the separation of 
big party chat and the game volume. Uh, I haven't really messed with it, to be honest with you, since I've had it. Um, my sound has been pretty good, and I've generally used the game music and volume. I usually turn that down as kind of like a buffer to make sure that everything is good. It, it isn't the same, and I, I will say that if they do release a PS5 Pro that does have the optical out for this type of scenarios, I will likely buy one mainly for that. Not to mention, I'm sure the Pro will be faster and smarter and whatever, but um, how much do these cost? Well, uh, I've seen them cost anywhere from $20 to $50. This one retail, if you go to astrogaming.com and buy it, I believe it's $45 or $50. If you own an Astro headset... There is a special serial number on your headset that represents the actual production number that your headset was, proving that you have it. It's basically like the serial number or the DNA of the headset. If you provide that to Astro, they will give you like a $20 off. I, I think I paid $30 for mine. So I think it's $50 and I got $20 off or it's $45 and I got 50 Whatever it is, I ended up paying $30 for it. Um, the one that I already own that I'm currently using that is not made by Astro, I cannot tell you the maker of it because it's just a generic Amazon bot brand. I'm sure it's just a, something made overseas, uh, very low end, I'm sure. But I did a bunch of research and was trying to figure out and make sure that I could get one that had 120 hertz pass through. Because that's something that some of you are going to really be worried about and some of you don't even know what that is or care but it's basically the refresh rate, and the refresh rates can make things look more fluid and natural. Um, it's kind of like frame rate, but different. So, you know, 10 frames a second, it's going to be kind of choppy, right? Where 100 frames a second, it's going to be like, Ta-ta! it's going to be so easy and smooth, right? So, um, this one has been tested and has been verified that it does support 120 hertz pass-through. Now, my TV I just bought, it is a 60 hertz TV, but it has some software that simulates actually up to 240. So in theory, I should be able to change some settings on my PS4, five, like five, um, and I should be able to output this at a higher rate and get a prettier screen than I'm already getting. Now the catch is, is that my software and hardware for the Elgato and the capture doesn't necessarily support that yet. So I don't know what they're going to do if they're going to end up making a new device or if they're going to be able to patch this one with an update and make it work gooder. But essentially, I am limited on the amount of data that's consent. Now, even if they do fix it and make it better, there is always the possibility to uh softer still even or are you saying the genre of music softer because i can choose genres that's something i just haven't gotten into the detail yet deep bass song <laughs> uh let's see here there is there's definitely it's like stations uh, so here we go let's go with this one this one's called chill Wait, here, this one's ambient. This one's probably going to be better. This one makes more sense. You guys let me know. And, and I can keep changing them. And, and we could ditch it, too. But I thought it would be a nice addition. And what I need to do is put some headphones on so I can hear it, too. But anyways, end of the story here is um, if you have an Astro headset, definitely look to astrogaming.com and, and look for your serial number. You'll get a discount. If you don't have one, astrogaming.com is the place I would recommend versus buying one on Amazon for $10 or $20 cheaper. Uh, the reason is, is because it'll give you all the necessary pass-throughs, the right cables, and all that stuff that you'll need uh, right out of the box, right? You won't have to source anything or do any research. It's already been done for you. Um, beyond that, though, if you need to save a few bucks, you know, Walmart's got them, Amazon's got them. They're all out there, and they're just really an What I searched was a HDMI to optical, right? HDMI to optical because that's what you're doing. You're taking that HDMI signal and you're splitting it to an optical, right? Uh, so anyways, uh, good stuff. Hopefully you guys found that educational and maybe even useful. 
Uh, last but not least, we got Patreon stuff that I want to talk about. Uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, Patreon.com is a place where you guys can go and support us directly. Um, it, it, it is like any other place that has funding and stuff like this. There is a cut that people take out of it. So people always ask me, is this the best place? Is it? Well, they all take a little bit. So it just depends on what preferences you have or what you want to get out of it, right? Like, I've been super lazy because the community for the special community, right? The people who are Patreon supporters, uh, it was very redundant for me and, and the amount of feedback and uh, interactions I was getting when I was working there were not what you would consider to be worthy. So, um, you know, there is a special group. There was some extra giveaways. Right now, we're not doing any giveaways because of that. But this gives you a chance to get your name either displayed or even shouted out doo -doo -doo -doo, in these game breaks each month where other ones don't necessarily give it. But, like, memberships for YouTube are only 99 cents and you have, uh, per month, and, and you get emojis and stuff. Music loud again, huh? Really? Like, it's not even showing on the EQ. I believe you, but... Really? Can't hear me, huh? Well, I guess I'll just turn this off. Because, like, I can't even... I can't even see it. Like, it's not even registering. Thank you, Tina. Josh was explaining that to me, too. Um... That's so weird because, like, I can't hear it, right? It only goes through the feed. and I don't, Well, I could hear it if I had headphones on, but I don't have headphones on. Um, but, like, there's an EQ that shows me, you know, it bounces back and forth and shows me, like, the volume. And, and maybe maybe what's happened is maybe I need to double-check my mic volume. Maybe that's got bumped down. Uh, well, that's up pretty good. Maybe I turn it down. No, it's up good here, too. So I have a, I have a control for my mic right here as well. So I can, like, <laughs> I'm sure it's changing a wee bit. But uh, music's off, so hopefully that's not a problem anymore. At least it should be off. I turn it off. Um. And what's up to Tina and Rutherford and Malachi, who have just slid in. Um, yeah, so basically we're, we're wrapping it up. We're just talking Patreon and stuff. Uh, but all the people, as I've mentioned, who have supported us at $5 and up are shown right. Oh, there he is. So big thanks to all these people. A lot of these names you are familiar with. Seen them many, 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 many months before. Uh, some some kind of come and go from month to month for whatever reason. Uh, you know, I don't ask any questions. I just appreciate all the support you guys give me, regardless of what platform or where, you know, what it is. Much love. Um, but that being said, special thanks to all those guys who are at the $5 and up tier. Now, a couple of them are even higher than that or at the $10 and up. Now, uh, there were a few months where we had quite a few names to holler out. And right now, things are a little bit different. But I, with the holidays and all of that being around, obviously, uh, you know, it's kind of expected for some some of these names to drop off a little bit. But uh, regardless, big shout outs and thanks to these next handful of people who are still supporting at the $10 and up tier. These are in no specific order other than the order they're showing here. So, like, there's no prioritization or anything other than that. But, Zarya, thank you so much for your patronage. Uh, we haven't seen you in stream lately. Hopefully everything's okay. I always like hearing, uh, getting the checkups, you know, finding out if uh, things are good. Thumbie is here. <laughs> and everywhere. Yes, he is. All right. This next person messaged me prior to the stream today and said, it's just too stinking late for me to stay up with the time difference. But that doesn't still change the fact that I still got lots of love for Michael Kersberg. Thank you so much, Michael, for supporting us on Patreon and on the YouTubes and everywhere else. You're everywhere, man. We, we see that and we appreciate that. Much love. All right. Next up, we've got 
April White. Thank you so much, April. I did see that you changed your pledge today, right before the stream. Uh, regardless, thank you so much for all you have done. I would love to hear from you. I was talking to the wife about it like two days ago. I was like, you know, I sent her an email. I'm pretty sure I was the last one that sent one and I haven't heard back. And then we started talking about like, uh oh, right? Like, uh oh, COVID, jobs, all these things going on, right? Like, and so would love to hear from you. Absolutely would love that. All right. And uh, last but certainly not least, we've got Bonnie Miller. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for your support. And to all of you guys, and all of the $5 supporters and below, because we've got lots of $2 and $1 supporters as well. These are just the people at $5 and up that get their names displayed or shouted out. Um, and, you know, if you don't know, there's also this thing called the Happy Thumbs Namer Wall of Fame. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or not. But it's just essentially a place on the web that we have secured for you guys to see that you have supported us and for other people to see it too. I've actually dropped a link down below in the chat so that you guys can check that out. And uh, so yeah, much love to all of our Patreon supporters. And if you're interested in getting your name called out, definitely check out patreon.com slash happy thumbs gaming. Um, I can drop a link for that too, I think. Let's see here. Um, I guess it's just right here. I was like trying to use the share button, but there's like a link right at the top. All right. Welcome back, James. Welcome back. Ooh, it's, I smell dinner cooking. It is dinner time. So that's nice. Um, all right. So that's basically everything that I had for this game break. That doesn't mean we're done. I'm going to hang out and chat with a few of you for a few minutes. See what's up. I see that um, Adam has asked, have I heard from Jeremy? No. Um, you know, I was talking to a mutual friend the other day, and they were saying the same thing. Um, basically that, you know, through the grapevine, they've heard that deployment and active duty has kept him busy and deployed. Last both of us heard, he was in Japan. Um, I don't know if that's still true or not. He may be in what he, he's from Washington. He, he, he grew up like, and his family lives like not even three hours or so from my house, but, uh, our paths just haven't crossed. Um, uh, you know, things didn't end ugly or anything like that, but, uh, you know, uh, just like anything, high school, ch childhood, friendship, any, any friendships that are out there definitely, you know, uh, aren't forever right sometimes they do dissipate for whatever reason and um ultimately i'd love to i'd love to you know shoot the breeze if you will play some games catch up see what's going on like i said i i have no beef or anything like that i just i am not even sure really how to get a hold of him he doesn't facebook or anything like that so um you know he had some twitter accounts that i don't believe are around anymore so i i mean i don't even know my phone number may be good but I don't know if it's even legit. I haven't even, uh, haven't tried. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since uh, I tried or our paths have crossed. So uh, I wish him well. I hope it, he's got a son that's probably pff, huge by now too. I haven't even seen, you know, I, I just like that. The family doesn't do Facebook or anything. So I don't see any of it. I have no idea. Like a lot of people I keep tabs on just whether I see him or not, whether we're friends or not or whatever, like I definitely see a lot of stuff, especially from like my 503 clan that I had. Like I got a lot of friends on Facebook and stuff that I see what's going on that I don't interact with on a regular basis, but I know what's going on and I know how to get a hold of them. But uh, Jeremy's kind of one of those guys that kind of slipped through the cracks. And, and um, you know, like I said, I'd love to hear from him, but at the same time, I'm not even sure how to track him down. So uh, let's see here. I'm back. Just saw that fall flat thing. <laughs> so so yeah um reese is pretty good about not getting sick so i have confidence that tomorrow we'll be able to get through that now there is a possibility that reese maybe even found a way to cheese that level and actually just bypass it so um you know there are a few levels where you can just use the whole you know swing and climb up and get higher and higher and that's how we got through there's one level i think kirsten was saying it was supposed to take like 30 to 40 minutes to get through it and recently i beat it in like three and a half minutes because he cheesed the wall 
So, um, and that's going to be ultimately our goal for the, the speed run, right? Like we want to make sure that we want to cheese the hell out of it. That's right. Uh, we want to see what we can do to get through it. And, and like I said, the goal is to ultimately have all of the levels we beat done by the time the stream starts tomorrow. I'm not sure Reese can do that because he's going to be doing it on his own. I'm going to be in the room playing sort of, but I'm going to be uh, premiere page setting up, getting ready for tomorrow's stream. Right. So, um, well, special shout out to Reese for being awesome and setting that up and helping me get that platinum trophy. Uh, let's see here. I hope you can read it. Right. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, um, you know, uh, I always kind of look at it like this too. Um, you know, Unlike me, I I'm not sure how to get a hold of him. He knows how to get a hold of me, right? Like I am very easy to get a hold of. Um, so there is that too. I, again, I'm not saying anything, I, but you know, it is a two way street, and I have not heard from him either. So I, again, I, I'd love to hear from him, but at the same time, I just don't know that I will. And uh, yeah, uh, on a complete side, 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 side note. Um, I still haven't gone out and got my VCR. I know that's a weird letter combination to say in 2021, but um, I, I need to get that particular VHS VCR DVD combo because it has an HDMI output and I can run that HDMI right into my capture system. And I should be able to play the VCR on my desk, running it into my capture and then hopefully work some magic with like the tracking feature and get that Fox kids club video all as best dialed in as I can. I mean, I understand the technology and the way, basically the technology that was used and the technology that I have to make it work is not the most ideal. And, and there's going to be some grain. There's going to be some bad resolution. It's going to be small and boxy 480p versus 1080. Um, but, you know, I feel like there's a really good chance that I could get it better than I have it now. But also, um, you know, I don't know. And you guys only saw the, uh, I think I got rid of it. I, when I was clean. Oh no, it's still there. But is it the whole, it, so that's just the end. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, look how grainy and gross that is. That That is likely a tracking problem. So like, it, it's kind of like a radio station not coming in all the way, right? Like it, 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 it needs to be fine tuned a little bit, I think. And that's me. That's totally me floating across. Wee. Proper green screen. <laughs> All right, Monster Kim. You sleep well, sir. Get some rest. We'll see you soon. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Eric says, how's it going for me? I'm, I'm better now. I, I, I don't know if you knew this or not. I was really sick for three weeks. I had a sinus infection that was just getting the best of me. Uh, no COVID or anything like that, but I definitely was pretty, pretty... Uh, pretty bad off let's see here no just invisible channel on youtube <laughs> yeah no totally totally um so uh but yeah I'm, I'm feeling much better now i'm still trying to figure out like why i have like this chronic sinus thing hopefully i can figure that out i mean at the end of the day i can still live and survive i just i sound different than i should you know and hopefully in the summertime it'll be better but i take an allergy pill every day it doesn't seem to help so maybe i need to switch my allergy maybe i need a more intense I know I have a friend that's uh, just just allergic to everything, and and she you know she has those tests, those little skin tests. I, mean, I don't remember how long ago she had one. It was just like, oh my god, she looked like she'd been exposed to like some serious radiation or something. Like her skin was not good in a lot of areas, and um, so she has all this like like a lot of her stuff is like pollen and dust stuff, and we live in one of the worst states for that, and and so she has to get these shots. Like I think it's once a month. First of all, you guys already know, we already talked about this. I don't do shots very well. Not a fan of shots. And so, um, you know, ultimately, um, I'm hoping that it doesn't come to that because I don't know if I could handle getting a shot 12 times a year. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, so uh, anybody else got any other things? Summer, yes, I remember those days. Yeah, hopefully summer will be better. Like, I, I do hope that I will be able to, you know, springtime and wintertime seem to be when I have the worst 
stuffs and summer i seem to be better but uh what game am i playing uh today this is a game break eric we won't be playing any games we're taking a break from games to kind of catch up talk and just hang out hence the fancy this is what i call the brisk background we used this last year in january too and you're gonna see that you're gonna see some repetitive backgrounds some of them i really like some of them are trash and need to be replaced uh, you know, like the Halloween one has quite a bit of effort into it. I like that one. You guys seem to like it. It's probably due for an, an update though. Cause like, you know, I just don't, I'm, I'm not proactive in the sense that like, I don't think about it ahead of time. Like I'm usually like crunch time. All right. Game breaks on Saturday. I better start working on it. And it's Friday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, my schedule keeps me so busy with the regular stuff that I often kind of lose sight of the game breaks, but I, at the same time, I don't want to not do them. You know, I've toyed with the notion of maybe not having them every month, maybe doing a shorter version of it on like every Friday. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've thought about a lot of different things, but um, haven't really found anything that works better or per, is projected to work better than what is currently happening. So, uh, so yeah. Anybody got anything going on? Like, did anybody do anything this weekend? I know that there's not a lot happening, but sometimes people have like, you know, a Lego build or something that they're proud of that they want to talk or, or a camo that they grinded or something. I mean, you know, to each their own. Everybody's got their thing. I, my biggest highlight of the weekend was probably last night watching the Blazer game. Um, that was probably the most excite that I had, but um, much excite. I, I, I don't, it's been pretty uneventful, um, you know, uh, without going into a tremendous amount of details, we've, we've had a, uh, a talk or two around the house that has been, uh, you know, needed and, um, I don't know if I'd say that's like the highlight, but that's, that's been a part of it. Uh, let's see here. What's up, Adam? Welcome back. Uh, got two trophies left till I platinum Assassin's Creed 2. Nice. You know, I haven't played, I like, I played like one Assassin's Creed a long time ago. And that was after I had decided I didn't like the franchise. Like, I played one at a friend's house, didn't really care for it. Years later, kind of gave it a second chance, didn't really care for it. I also got, uh, um, I got derailed on that project and ended up having to do some Lego stuff. In fact, I, I might have even been. I don't think it was Lego Batman 2, but it might have been right when we switched to the first Lego game that we covered. But it was right in that era. At least it feels... I'm bad with time sometimes, but uh, that's what it feels like. And, um, you know, boy, that's it's going back there. I just... You know, Assassin's Creed just never been something that stood out to me. Um, it looks cool. I heard Valhalla was really fun, but it's also like a 500-hour platinum or something like that, so... Uh, have I played Marvel's Avengers? Yes, I have. I've I've covered all Lego games in guide form for the YouTube channel, except for Lego Batman 1 and Lego Indy 2. Those are the only ones that I can think of that are like a complete full Lego game release. I know there's some mobile games. There's some other stuff. But I mean, like we did, we did Dimensions. We did Worlds. We did... Um, you know, we did a bunch of stuff, and we've done all of them over the years. Uh, Batman 2, Batman 3, uh, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, uh, Harry Potter. We, we did guides for that. Now we're streaming it. We're halfway through the streams because we got 1 through 4 done. We just started 5 through 7 today. Um, you know, Pirates. I mean, we, we've, done, we've done them all. So um, we just have those two left, and we do plan on doing Lego Skywalker when it comes out, whenever. Um, but, yeah. Boy, it's almost dinner time. I can smell it. I can smell it. I keep waiting for the message. Um, let's see here. I think the new ACs are better than the older ones. You know, I, I, Tyler, I think at one point told me there's a particular one that I think is when they just started to get better or whatever. I, I don't remember how he said it, but like he was like, you need to start with this one and move forward. And I was always like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I never pursued it. So that's my bad. Yeah. I said Lego Indy two. I said Lego Indy two, Lego Batman one, Lego Indy two. The only two I haven't done. Uh, what's your favorite Lego game so far? Lego city undercover has been my favorite one to date. Um, you know, I really like the force awakens. That's probably my second favorite one minus the BB eight puzzles. 
you know, and then they all just kind of start mushing together at that point. Like, I really enjoyed all the Marvel ones. The DC ones are great, too. Like, Batman 2, Lego Batman 2 has our highest viewed video of all time. And I don't even know where it's at. Last I looked, it was like 1.2 million or 1.3 million or something like that. That's a lot of freaking views. Um, let's see here. Top viewed videos this period have all been Lego Harry Potter. Like Harry Potter, one through four, one through four, one through four. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all of them. Top 10 videos this quarter have all been Lego Harry Potter. Um, if I go up here real quick and I go lifetime. Top 10. Yeah, Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes Hidden Level has 1.4 million views. Um, and then we've got... So, okay, I was wrong. I only have a one video with a million views. But we do have a couple that are that are over the halfway point pushing for us. We got uh, Lego Marvel Superheroes Level 1 Sand Central Station Free Play is, is sitting at 791,000, basically. If you round it up, it's got get another 200 views and it's got 791,000. And then Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes Free Play Level 1 606,000. And then it drops off to like 380 and then then there's a bunch all in that 250, 380. They just there's like all of them. And it's all Lego. Lego 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 Lego. If I see more, I'm sure it's Lego 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 Lego. Um and it's crazy the demographic. What is this spike here? I, I need to spend more time in these analytic charts. Um, boy, there was a crazy peak. I wish you guys could see this. December, maybe that's when it released. No, December 2017 to September 2018. There was a huge spike. Like, I don't know who was funneling views. Somebody was funneling, but... Um, you know, Legos definitely our most viewed stuff. Um, definitely will continue to do those. Definitely love them. Um, sweet stuff. What's your favorite game of the year? Um, I don't know. Uh, favorite game of the year was probably probably Ghost of Tsushima for 2020. Um, I really liked both the, the the multiplayer stuff that came a little later. Um, and the storyline itself. It was fairly repetitive, but it didn't feel that way. Um, you know, it, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed The Last of Us Part Two as well. Um, those were both amazing games. I'm trying to think of what else I played. Um, you know, I played Spider-Man in 2020. That was really fun. We, we will be likely returning to play the, the DLC and then taking on Miles Morales after that. Um and I don't know, Kirsten, I think you told me this once before. Maybe you can help remind me or send me a link to the info if you still have it. Um, the the Spider-Man Platinum, right? If you have the PS4 and you get the PS5 version. So, like, am I, I guess what I'm, what I'm really trying to figure out or ask, asking here is, is that when I punch in that code and I log in, I'm still going to have to transfer my save data either via the cloud or through the in-game save options like I did with uh, Watch Dogs with the Ubi Cloud or whatever. Um, but I'm just wondering if... I mean, I guess that's that's how it'll work, right? I mean, that's just got to upload. Yes, you should be able to cheese the plat. And then from there... I should be able to just load in. That's the one question I guess I have. Will I be able to play my DLC that I have and own for the PS4 on the PS5 version? Right? You see what I'm saying? So, like, I'm going to use this code. It's going to download the 5 version. They don't have a DLC for the PS5 version, right? So, but they have to, or they don't have DLC at all for the 5 version. So that's what I'm wondering. Like, am I going to be able to... I can cheese the plat. That's awesome and great, right? But will I be able to play that DLC that I own from the PS4 version, right? Because I have, I have this guy. The game of the year, I think is what it is. 
Yeah, the Game of the Year edition. You know, it has the codes and stuff. So I'm just wondering, like, has anybody out there done that yet? Anybody with the PS5? Cheese the plat? Yeah, see, that's the big question. What about the DLT? So we'll have to play that by ear, and maybe the, the beginning of the Spider-Man DLC stream might be a little rough. Like, it might be me upgrading to the ps5 like I'll, I'll download it and get it all ready to go and then i'll upload my save and stuff with you guys and then if it works for the dlc i'll play it on the ps5 version and if it doesn't god that's a lot of storage i'm gonna have to have for spider-man on my playstation but the good news is i will be done with watchdogs when we attempt that so that'll free up a, a fair amount of space if not the needed space for that to happen so um but yeah, if anybody knows anything about that, please let me know. Drop me a link or a line on Facebook or here on a chat or whatever. But um, I'm pretty sure I hear some plates chinging around down there. I feel like uh, I feel like there might be some dinner being served without me. <laughs> I got a teenager and he he eats all the time. But um, anybody else got any last minute questions or anything going on there? I stretched out about 20 minutes longer than I thought I was going to be able to, so I'm, I'm digging that. I know that our, our views are not skyrocketing, right? I know that we had kind of a lower peak. Earlier, we had like 67 or 68, just short of that funny number, uh, for our Lego Harry Potter stream. And Adam didn't even get the notification for it. So I feel like a lot of people probably would have showed had they've gotten a notification. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. And that might have been my bad. I launched it at, f at like 105 or 1203 instead of 12 so before 12 usually if i do it before 12 everybody gets them if i mess up and i'm late it usually messes it up so uh adam says thanks for the stream hey i'm glad definitely definitely air hugs for all high fives dabs um back flips I don't, is, is that was that <laughs> i don't know if that's back uh annihilator you like the mic we got we got color changing on it too, but uh, I need to figure out my other camera. You know, you guys might get another stream in the future, not probably this next week, but maybe a week or two after that, where I do some more like uh, configuring. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, had a couple streams, have not lost audio or anything like that since I did the rebuild, so that's positive. So maybe I won't have to do anything. Uh, have I finished Lego Dimensions? Yes, I am actually part of the 1016 Club. I've got every gold brick and every task completed in that game. We actually had 40-something uh, streams of it. 41, 43 streams or something. I was doing, I think, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I was doing those. Like, that was our game. We were rocking out for a while. And then I think I started breaking it up into, you know, Monday's this game, Wednesday's that game, Friday's that game. And, and I... I don't know what you guys liked. Would you guys rather I pick some of these games and just go like Hammerstein on them and just play? Not, like, like, you know, when I get into Miles Morales, would you rather see Monday, Wednesday, Friday all be Miles until I finish it? Or do you like the concept of like Watch Dogs Wednesdays or Miles Mondays or, you know, whatever it is? Like, I, I mean, what do you guys prefer? And, and, and you know, I'm always looking for feedback. And, and I mean the end of the day i would certainly get through games faster that way but i don't know i don't know i i like having multiple games i like having the excuse man it's been a whole week since i played and i've played five games five different games with control since then i like having that excuse if you guys tell me you want same game i'm gonna have to find a new excuse which i'll find one i'll find one so we got we got mixed stuff coming in we got both like the variety variety okay I, I, I kind of like it that way, too, if I'm being honest. Although there are weeks where I'm like, crap, what am I going to play? What am I going to play? And, and there's days that, I mean, Todd and I have spent hours. I mean, I'm serious, like hours, like evaluating games, even testing and playing some of them. Todd's done a lot of the testing. Um, but, you know, Reese, too. Reese has done a lot of due diligence for us trying to figure out games. And, like, you know, people have a lot of good suggestions, but sometimes it's like, oh, well, that game would work great if it was, you know, the other channel, right? Whether it's a, you know, a soft game that's easy going that would be not mature, right? Like that would work better on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday versus a game I'm looking for on a Thursday, right? But then if I'm looking for a game on a Wednesday, Resident Evil or something doesn't really fit that. So like, 
you know, and then having the whole thing too with like, okay, does it require people? Yes. Okay. Are those people available on that day? Maybe, maybe not, you know, and, and, and then, then you get even further like, okay, well, does, does, does the people that are playing with me, do they like this game? Like, like gray is, is, is awesome about playing games that he doesn't like to play however we find out real quickly that he doesn't like the game what the hell <laughs> you know like um and todd too you know todd is super flexible about playing whatever games you know and and that's awesome so you know in that aspect it's not as hard but i still in the back of my head i'm always wondering like you know does nom really like to play apex or is he just doing it because i asked him to you know like um so so there's are there are those questions and thoughts that I have and trying to find and trying to put those puzzle pieces together and have them match up. It's not as easy as everybody thinks. And there are a lot of times where I could just wing it or do whatever and and you know but ultimately I always try to find direction and have like, you know, reasoning and you know like watchdogs Wednesdays or web slinging Wednesdays or whatever Wednesdays. Why did I use Wednesday all three times? I don't know. Uh, oh, look at that. Nom's in here, too. Oops, forgot about the game. That's funny. Like, it was like a magic trick, wasn't it? Like, I said his name, and he, like, appeared out of nowhere. Uh, let's see here. No, I'm a figment of your imagination. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. More like a nightmare come to life. That sounds about right. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. All right, guys. Hey, my dinner is ready and Nam's here, so my day is ruined. So I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down though for realsies. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game break. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Right now, we have one more person than there is likes in this room. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, oh, nice. The poo emoji for the finish. That's awesome. The poo poo poo. Um, let's see here. Is there a game you play online? Because I'd like to play you. Uh, we, we, you know, we definitely do play Eric from time to time and there has been and probably will be, uh, opportunities to play certain games with us. But, uh, you know, I generally, like I was just kind of saying, I, I generally have, when I have a plan, I always have a team for the streams and stuff. Um, I also try to kind of stay away from, um, you know, just bringing anybody into a live stream. Like I usually try to screen people and play with them a little bit, feel them out. Cause we actually had some people when we were playing like Fortnite on the regular way back, like two and a half, three years ago, whenever it was, we had some people, some, some people that were actually like fun in the chat and then they got on stream and they were terrible. And, and they're no longer allowed or around anymore, at least not that we're aware of. They may have changed their names and their, you know, their attitudes. But, I mean, ultimately, um, you know, we had people get on and just, like, blatantly cuss and be rude and say really naughty things. And, um, you know, and there was the times, too, where we had, like, uh, you know, there'd be, like, a younger, you know, 15 to 18-year-old playing with us. And they'd be at home. And you could hear, like, one time specifically stood out where – his mom and his dad were in the background. So he was like in the living room playing. His mom and his dad were like sitting across the table from each other behind him. And they were talking bills. And they were not really agreeing with what was happening. And it was, they, they, they were from another country. So they had like really strong accents. So it was like, it was like, I felt so bad, but I was laughing so hard. And, and and we ended up having to have this person meet. I was like, listen, bro, like I'm trying not to laugh, but what? And and the, the, the reality of it was, is that there there was kind of a struggle happening in the background. And, and so, you know, that's not likely to happen very often, right? Same with the profanities and things like that. I think most people who get the opportunity to play on stream or even play with us aren't going to act that way. The majority, but... There are those golden eggs, if you will, that definitely. So I try not to, you know, there are people like that are definitely in line that are not necessarily what I would call like regulars, but are people who are on the list, um, you know, and if you hang out a lot and are, are uh, attending the streams frequently, Eric, uh, you know, you might find yourself on that list at some point. But I do know that like we have, we kind of have a priority list of who's going to be a mod when we need a mod next. We also have kind of a list of who is, uh, you know, going to be invited to play. So there's kind of like a hierarchy, right? Like I have like my internal group that I always play with on and off stream. Some of them have been friends for 20 plus years. Some of them are more recent, you know, friendships. 
but uh, most of those are like old. And then I've got like the next set of people that are people I've known for two, three, four, five, six years now, play with frequently here and there, uh, frequently here and there. That's 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 a new statement right there. Frequently here and there. Um, but yeah, so so like you know, like Kirsten sometimes gets to play um, based on her availability, and and she's definitely you're definitely on that internal, uh, you know. But unfortunately, your availability doesn't allow you. Uh, but you know, we've got like you know, occupied is somebody who's here often, who is like like right there. Like I wouldn't consider him uh, internal because his availability isn't as available. I mean, you'd think it would be based on what we know, but it's not. Uh, you know, and then let's see here. Sounds like I'm getting replaced. <laughs> No, 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 no. Why is somebody is somebody trashing me? Is somebody trashing me that I'm not seeing? Am I am I oblivious to some trash talk? Because that's technically your full position details. Um, but anyways, you know, and then you know Brian, aka Pajamas, aka Silver Mouse, aka lots of other things too. Um, you know, there's definitely a list of people who, uh, you know, I would call it priority. Uh, so, anyways. Something to think about and definitely appreciate. You know, we got we got Robert and Nam, who I've known for, you know, 15 to 20 plus years. And, and um, you know, other people like Gray, who I met last year, you know, and Todd, too. Todd and uh, Gray are both uh, on the regular players, uh, but I haven't known him for 20 years like I have these other guys. So, uh, you know, anything is possible. <laughs> you know, uh, the old Kevin Garnett. One of you will get that. Maybe two of you. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hey, much love. We just actually hit the hour and 30 minute mark. Almost 131. Uh, much love to you all, guys. I will be back tomorrow morning with my mini-me, Reese. And we'll be playing Human Fall Flat. Trying to finish up and get that plat. I've already talked about it a million times, so I'm not going to say it anymore. Uh, yeah. Head on over to any of our social medias if you have not already, and please check out happythumbsgaming.com, specifically the Happy Thumbs Neighbor Wall of Fame. Go see who has contributed and been a super supporter. But hey, guys, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time, whoop!